finally we are here and uh, finally again um, a quiet place 2 has arrived after one year hiatus from its theaters and everything so um, we're gonna be talking about it we are gonna be shouting from the top of the mountains and we're gonna be saying it really loud a quiet I'm Jay. I'm Lainey. <laughs> she's whatever Lainey. She's and we're gonna talk about Lainey. A Quiet Place Part yeah. 2. Let's get it. about we're going to talk about the quiet place too uh-huh we might as well start the quiet beginning. place too man that prequel sequel mm -hmm. part whatever you want to call it yep that was amazing amazing I mean, amazing like it starts <laughs> off like any normal town yeah on like a saturday or whatever mm -hmm. with a, ba a baseball game and then all of a sudden the aliens come out of Shit nowhere started making you, loose and it's not like they try to explain like who they are or whatever yeah. it is like yo this is what we coming is. This we is what here yep. and it was dope mm -hmm. and i like the fact that like they brought down they brought back john krasinski for a second yeah exactly. you know he died they mm -hmm. brought him back yep. and i love that he actually played hope that the person who that we were actually got attracted to um in the first movie mm -hmm. and um for him to make the the, the, the necessary um cameo i guess you could yeah, say yeah exactly yep. the necessary choices in terms of them surviving this 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 um invasion with the aliens and everything so mm. that was that was awesome it, and it was, and it, it, was it, it was breathtaking how everything was done in such a quick time everything mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. started moving on like boom 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 yep. once and it moved it just kept going exactly was... and um you know I, 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 then again I, I love the fact that they brought the origins of the aliens they did, didn't give a full idea of you know what these creatures are about mm -hmm. they just came into existence and started killing people i'm okay i'm okay with that. that but that's fine because sometimes you know movie can't you can't really explain to the Everything. people what you know whatever the case Absolutely. is just for for me i think it's uh, you know safer for me to say that um it, it gives you a much more close attachment to the aliens mm -hmm. or what their origins are from or probably if the movie goes into a different direction you can know that listen there is more to come or they have the ability to do this or to do that or whatever the case is i actually like the fact that they just didn't explain that they just over explain because usually sequels do that yeah they yeah, start they to over explain everything mm -hmm. no f that mm -hmm. it was like you know what we'll get into it exactly it's like into it. you know what mm -hmm. aliens come that's it done boom that's All right I, I, I was so excited with the intensity of everything just the the, the bars the, the 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 restaurant scene where the alien was there and they were the people was in the the uh the restaurant mm -hmm. and you know they were trying to be quiet and then the phone rang and, and they, i would have put that phone oh vibrate so God, quick it was I'm like, like boom, 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 boom. okay so first of all i just gotta say this real quick mm -hmm. everyone were wonderful in the movie I agree. every single I person totally agree. in the movie was wonderful the yep. acting was outstanding i have to give it to the daughter reagan reagan Abba, no, the she, deaf girl yeah, yeah she's there yeah so she played a wonderful part of it uh, also her, her acting mm -hmm. was superb actually mm -hmm. and it played she played a much more sensitive role within the movie yeah she was she was the movie actually yeah exactly I mean. so she was basically trying to get to the specific uh, area where she she got she got the frequency from, going to that to that um, that that destination mm -hmm. along with uh, the, uh, the the guy that they Killian they, Murphy. I don't Killian remember his Murphy. name, but Killian Murphy. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Um, that was that was wonderful. Where you know they get to bond and he get to realize that she's deaf. He can't understand um, sign language. That was wonderful. That was a good blend of story mode. I hear you. I mean, first of all, Killian Murphy is a great A actor, right? Mm -hmm. 
And Homegirl held her own with him. Yep. And it was just enjoyable to see them go back and forth. Mm -hmm. It was also enjoyable to see how they set up. It was enjoyable to see Emily Blunt and her son mm -hmm. interact, even though Man. some of the shit that he was doing oh made God. you want to be like, what are you doing? He played the hell out of it. Yes, he played, he the, played hell the hell out, the hell out, of, out it. of it. But it's just like, it was so mind-numbing, like, why are you this stupid? But, but I guess you, know, you do you know need what? that in like this kind of a movie. Exactly. So I'm, I'll give that a pass. <clears throat> what, what, what he, what, what I understand probably he is, is that he's trying to be like his father, you know what I mean? And from, okay. the fast, from the last movie where he's trying to keep his family safe. So he, I think he's trying to make, it make that role, <laughs> you know what I mean? To, but of course he's young. He's not gonna understand what is what. So I do understand what he does um, within the movie, but he played it so well. Mm -hmm. he, the execution, it, it, the execution so of funny. him being who he is as the younger son and trying to be cautious of not being killed or whatever like his like his younger one that that died in the mm -hmm, first movie mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he played, he played so great. well he guys so i'm good. telling you emily blunt the next one um she she was good she her just the fact of balancing protecting your kids and at the same time Needing trying to, to get what yeah, you need to get exactly and, and, and at the same time trying to keep her sanity mm -hmm. from the fact that she mm -hmm. lost mm -hmm. her husband in, like the in day before life. yeah exactly like it happened like right after the first movie ended, ended yeah. so it wasn't even like it was a time lapse nope. it literally was like yo i don't have any time to grieve this is what we have to do let's do it let's and go it, and she wore all of those emotions mm. within her character and within yo, her she, delivery she played it, it man like i said she i it. think that one of the great things about this is that it doesn't even feel like a sequel mm -mm. it feels like a continuation of a very yeah. long movie yeah. it does not even feel like a sequel and therefore because it doesn't feel like a sequel they don't bloat it with like all these new characters they make you focus on them on the on each family individual. Yep. and it was on each yeah, that's each, right each on individual. each individual yep. and that was what was really just like amazing mm -hmm. about this movie so overall the movie was excellent it was well done by krasinski actually krasinski wrote and, and directed. directed it yep so it was mm, wonderful i have no flaws in it mm -mm. whatsoever um you know the movie was set as a post invasion from the beginning but at the same time it gave a continuation of what happened after mm -hmm. part after um part one ended mm -hmm. so you know it, it it's like a, as you said earlier it's like a one length movie yep. that was like yep. like a mini series basically yeah so it, it it was well done i think that the fact that like i said you can barely see that it's as a sequel but if you want to call it a sequel that's fine um either way whether it be like a it's name part two, got mm -hmm. it, but also a sequel, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. The fact is like, they didn't overbloat it. Mm -hmm. And that's what usually sequels or part twos always, always do. They always bring more people, more explosions, more this, more that. Yeah. They didn't overblow it. They kept nah, it simple. simple they kept simple, it like, simple. okay, this is a continuation of the story. Yep. And this all makes sense as Made what is going direction. on. Exactly. And the fact, I know I'm about to go back on what I just said, but it makes sense. They brought in a little bit more characters, but as soon as they brought them in, they took them right back out. Mm -hmm. So again, you're still focused on the Abbott family, and the only one person that they brought in to, to stay mm -hmm. was Killian Murphy. Killian, yeah. So mm -hmm. I was like, that was genius. Exactly. And I hope that other people are taking notes about this yes, and this kind of structure, movie. especially this is how you do a sequel. Exactly. Okay. This is how you do a sequel. Yeah, exactly. End of the movie, everything was open for you to think what is going to happen Go in next. this movie. That's right. And I That's love right. that. It, yeah. It's not like they hinted at anything. But it's just for you as the audience to see what, listen, this and whatever can go in this and whatever. Mm -hmm. And it can build a next phase within the movie. So remember that part where the, where the people had Killian Murphy and um, and Reagan at the, oh, the fishing those the, Yeah, the boat. Yes, at there, that it box. seems like there is something yes. in that sense of as well that can go into that movie. Mm -hmm. Because there wasn't much that was explained about those people 
uh, why they the type of person they are. Now that you said that, I like the fact they brought those people in, mm -hmm. but then they also brought in the community <laughs> that was wholesome and good. Yeah. That it balanced out hopelessness mm -hmm. with hopeful. I like the fact that there was some kind of weakness mm -hmm. that the aliens had, even though I think that might be the only I think part there were that two. I don't I think there were like. Two weaknesses. Yeah. yeah, and I get so small, but again, it is worth mentioning. Like it's kind of like the signs effect. Mm -hmm. The aliens and signs didn't like water. Mm -hmm. These aliens can't swim. Earth is about seventy percent of water. Yeah. So therefore, why are you coming over here? So, like, mm. good geek, bad geek, real quick. Well, my good geek is that's the beginning of the movie. Mm -hmm. The beginning of the movie was intense. I love that. The design of the aliens, I love how they designed them. I love the the aesthetics of the head when the head lifts up and you can see like the inside and the, the ear and that was so brilliantly done. I love it. And for me, I mean, I felt like we talked about so many good things, so I'm not going to rehash it. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that we didn't talk about, so I'll put that in my good geek, mm -hmm. was like the last, I would say half hour to 40 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. You had two completely different situations that they kept going back and forth. Mm -hmm. And it made sense the way they did that. Yeah. It wasn't just like, okay, we're just going to have these things happening and we're just going to cut to this, we're going to cut to that. No, it really made sense the way that all of it unfolded at the same time, even though it unfolded mm -hmm. in two different places and it was two different instances of what was going on. Bad geeks, I have none. Yeah. I have no bad yeah. geeks. The movie was flawless to me. Um, my mark, I'd give it a five out of five. Again, as far as execution of a movie, nah, you. It was done good. It, this is one of the greatest like sequels ever, exactly. honestly. Mm -hmm. So I'd give it a five out of five too. And for this week's eye candy, I'm going to talk about Attack on Titan. So I know Attack on Titan is not a new anime. So mm -hmm. I will say that I understand that. It is actually exciting. I'm hoping that they're not overplaying the, okay, you get to be a Titan, you get to be a Titan, you get to be a Titan, you get to be a Titan kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But it's really interesting. And Mikasa, she is the shit. I mean, for real. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that goes. I know at the very least we're four seasons in. Um, I'm looking to see how it goes from season three and on. So, okay. all right, y'all. So if you like what you see, yep. like, comment, subscribe. It helps us build our channel. Bro, bro, all right, because, yo, we're going to talk about horror, fantasy, anime, video games. We talk about it all. All right. Mm -hmm. So where can they find us? on Twitter and Instagram at Geek by Heart. Right. Check us out because we're always open to anything, anything geeky. All That's right. That's right. So. And we will see you at the next vid. Definitely. We will see you at the next vid. Next video. Peace.